I've now deleted all of the silences that I don't need, uh, removed any saliva noises and removed any breaths that I didn't want in there and have an edited file. So the next thing we need to do to it is something known as compression. What compression does is it reduces the volume of the loud parts of the audio so it narrows the gap between the loudest and the quietest sound and even out the sound basically. With Audacity there's a couple of ways of doing this. The first one is to go to Effect and then to Leveler. What this does, it levels it out uh, to some extent. I like a lot of compression on vo my voice when I'm uh, doing a video, but it's uh, something that you can add to your personal taste. So what I'll do now just to demonstrate this, I'm going to go for the heaviest degree of leveling and I'm going to take the highest threshold. And I'm going to click OK. And you can actually see there's a visible change to the look of the WAV file. The other way you can compress the audio is to use the compressor. And so here we have the compressor. Compression is one of those things that it will be subjective based on people's opinions and it will vary depending on the voice and what you're trying to compress and how it was recorded uh, and you know the the sort of tonal qualities of the voice. So the threshold um, I would put rate around about minus 7 dB. I'll leave the noise floor there at minus 40. The ratio, I find that anything from 3 to 1 to 6 to 1 works well for my voice. But um, I'll put this at 5 to 1 for now. And the attack time, um, I always have that at the lowest possible time. And then the decay time as well. Uh, this is a quite a basic compressor, but that's sometimes a, a good thing because the settings aren't too overwhelming. So two options here, make up gain. Well, we don't want to do that, so don't check that box. Compress bands on peaks. We'll do that. And again, you can see the difference in the waveform straight away. Uh, it looks much fatter now. So that's the compression options in Audacity. Uh, what I would say is I'm going through these in a particular order because compression, it needs to be before the EQ and the EQ then needs to be before the normalise. If it's not done in that order, you may cause clipping or distortion in your audio file. So now we've done that, we will move on to EQ.